again. Once again. How's it going? It's going pretty good. All how's right, it, cool. How's it going with you? Oh, uh, fantastic. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> if you say it, it's true. Yeah. Yep. What you working on? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm finishing the fight scene from last week. Right. That we started last week, and um, so um, yeah. So this will be done Monday, and then we'll be moving on. All right. Um. So there's a new queen just had their, their rock, their rock doc come out. Well, no, it wasn't a doc. It was like a biography movie, a biopic. Um, and mm-hmm. that came out in the theaters, and we both saw that. Mm-hmm. And now, Molly Crew is doing their uh, rock, rock biography yeah. Movie type thing. But that's going to be exclusively on Netflix? Or is it right not the theater yeah it's gonna be only on netflix which, which is pretty much just as good if not better except that it's not a huge screen but hey i think it's better because they were talking about how the book started out and yeah. they're gonna start the movie out the same way yeah and we can just say right now that's not for kids and anyway. right <laughs> so so i think yeah that's a, nc17 yeah so Netflix is definitely a better, yeah, better place to go for that. Is that when do you, when is that hitting? Do you know? The twenty second. Okay. That's a Friday. Uh, it will be out by the time this podcast is edited and released. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, yeah. So we'll. So, the topic of today's podcast is. Naming band, band members. Naming band. <laughs> why can we? Why can we name some bands the members of some bands and some we can't? And uh, right, we can do our top three for sure because we did a a, um, a podcast in our top three a while ago. Um, right, right, right. And my top three, I'll go first. Okay. See if I can do this. Um, my top three were Led Zeppelin, Motorhead, ACDC. I think in that order. Not sure, but um. So here we go. Led Zeppelin. This is easy. <laughs> Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, John Paul Jones, John Bonham. Yep. Easy. Motorhead, even easier. I'm and I'm going on the last, the, the final lineup before Lemmy dies. So the final lineup is what I'm doing. Um, but there's been other members, but Phil Campbell, Mickey D, Lemmy. Phil then, Campbell, Mickey D, Lemmy. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then ACDC, the Angus Young, Malcolm Young, Brian Johnson. Um, Cliff Williams and Phil Rudd sometimes drumming, Chris Slade sometimes drumming, Bon Scott, singer who passed away, and I think they had another singer at one point. Mm-hmm. And that's that's my top three favorite bands. So how about you? Woo! <laughs> um. Okay. So I I can't remember my exact order. Probably Kiss was number one, right? Um, yeah. So obviously that's Gene, Paul, um, Gene and Paul for, for the whole run. Currently with uh, Eric Singer on drums and Tommy Thayer playing the Spaceman. That's the current lineup. Can I name all the other members? Uh, of course, you got the originals, uh, Peter Chris and Ace Freely. Mm-hmm. And then replacing Peter Chris was Eric Carr. And then replacing... Um, Ace Freely was Vinnie Vincent, and then replacing Vinnie Vincent was, for a short while, a guy named Mark St. John, 
on the uh, animalized record. He only was on one record. And then replacing him was Bruce Kulick for a long time until they put the makeup back on. And I think that's it for them. I think I got everybody. Wow. I, I thought they had more drummers than that. Uh, no, just Peter, uh, Eric Carr, and Eric Singer. Okay. Good yeah. job. Uh, second Cure, man, I mean, the Cure has changed lineup so many times through the years, there's no way I could name name that. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Robert Smith is the, the keystone, cornerstone singer, songwriter of all those years. Uh, can I name some members? I can name Simon Gallup, bass player. Lowell Tolhurst was original was a original drummer, and he wrote a nice biography that came out a couple years ago. There's great insight into the history of the Cure, by the way. Um, and that's all I can name: Simon Gallup, Robert Smith, Lowell Tolhurst. I mean, they've had people come and go, you know. So, yeah. and then I think my third band, and and I it occurred to me this week that I forgot to. My third band might have been the church if I had thought about the. I forgot about the church, but I went with Sloan, and there's no way I can name those guys, um, without looking them up. <laughs> so, if I was going with the church, I would go with which probably should have been my third favorite, and Sloan would have come in fourth. Then the church would have been uh, Steve Kibley, the original lineup, Mark. Oh man, Peter Cop Cops Copes. Um, Marty something, and that's all I can remember. And they're playing next month at King Plow, and I'm going to go see them. All right. The 30th anniversary of the classic alternative record Starfish by the, by the church, which had the hit single Under the Milky Way on it. And me and my brother are going to go. We live our past glories. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so I got, I got one strong one out of my top three. Yeah, well, here's a side note. You're you're not a big fan of uh, shoegazer music, right? Mm, I probably have become a little more in my old age, but uh, right, I wasn't originally. No, but you are a big fan of the church. Yeah. So I wouldn't really call that shoegazer. I mean, it's it's more psychedelic, modern. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, so now there's other bands that I could name the members of who weren't in my yeah, top three. That's not in your top three. What bands are those? The Beatles. <laughs> yeah, the Beatles. Uh, I think anybody with right. any kind of pa passing interest in rock or music in general pro could probably name the Beatles. Um, I think I could. Uh, well, obviously, uh, Love and Rockets was a big influence on me, alternative wise. And uh, that was just a three-piece, so that's easy. Or is it? David J., the bass player, singer, uh, Daniel Ash, the lead guitar singer, and then, oh, man, come on. Haskins, Kevin Haskins, the drummer. Three-piece. So there you go. There's one more for me. All right. Have it. I'll give it to you, and then I might have another one. Um, uh, let's see. I can do... I can do Nirvana. Ah, okay. Uh, Kurt Cobain, um, Dave Grohl, Chris Novoselic. Yeah, um, trios. The trios are easier. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I can do Guns N' Roses. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Stephen Adler, Duff McKagan, Slash, Izzy. Izzy Stradlin and Axl Rose. That's the original yep. lineup. I can't. I can't do the lineup of today. Or yeah, all uh, the, they have like eighteen people in it today. Or all the uh, guitar players he's had, it, and I can do the subject of this. The reason for this podcast: Molly Crew, Vince Neil. Ah, right, right. Tommy Lee. Um. Nikki Six and Mick Mars. Now, do you think that they, I mean, you know, they came up with their stage names, and they're all very basic syllables, easy syllables. Mick Mars, Vince Neil, um, Nikki Six. 
they're all just two syllables. So they did that so they would be memorable, most likely. I didn't know they were stage names. Mm, pretty sure. Okay, so you just I just you just triggered me to think of poison. Right, poison. <laughs> uh, if I go back to the original lineup, oh god. Ricky Rocket, drummer, mm -hmm. Brett Michael Singer, um, CC DeVille, obviously lead guitarist, and the bass player. I wanna say I wanna say I wanna say Bobby Bobby Dahl. Mm, is that right? I don't know. Yeah. Let me look it up real quick. Bobby Dahl. Yeah, got it. I got one. Nice. Bobby Dahl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so why do you think it is that we can name well all right, before that though, are there famous bands that you can't name all the members of I, that, I, that you like. That, that I can't name? Yeah. Um, I think I could probably name, well, just before that, I think I could probably name most of the members of Duran Duran um, and Iron Maiden, <laughs> the two opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> um, Iron Maiden current lineup? Nah, original. Uh, Steve Harris, Bruce Dickinson, maybe not the, uh, yeah, Nico McBrain, the drummer, um, and the two guitarists. I'm drawing a blank, but I know who they are. Um, man, and probably Jesus Priest. Adrian original lineup. Smith. Adrian Smith. And, and Murray. Uh, Dave Murray. Dave Murray, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Judas Priest, the original, yeah. Rob Halford, KK Downing, Glenn Tempton. I can't remember the bass player and drummer's names, but I used to have a poster of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I still have it. Um, but bands that I, famous bands I can't name. Sure. Well, everybody could probably name the um, U2, even though I'm not like a super big fan. But no, I can't. Well, I mean, I know I know the, the two famous ones. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. Bono, The Edge. Yeah. Adam Clayton. Bass player. I, mean, I couldn't name the drummer. Huh. Well, they don't... They're not crusaders like Bono. Right. So... Um, so, some bands that I can't name all the members of are Aerosmith <laughs> and the Rolling Stones. Mm. Okay, let me give the Rolling Stones a try. Current, um, 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 never mind. <laughs> All right. I think I could, but I can't right now. Uh, uh, so why do, you, why do you think it is um, that we can name all the members of some bands, but not other bands? I, I mean, again, I wonder if it's marketing and um, bands that base themselves after the Beatles model of having three or four or three members with nice clear-cut stage names, even though the Beatles names were pretty much the real names. But And then you get some, some bands, or you have like, uh, who'd you see? Uh, um, Bob Seger, you know, it's like a scene. You couldn't really name the Silver Bullet Band member, could you? Yeah, well, Alto Reed, but that's Who, it. Which one? Which one is he? Saxophone player. Saxophone, yeah. Does he play the alto sax? I probably. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's probably a combination of marketing genre. Musical, you know, musical style. You're more artistic -y, weird bands. You probably can't name the members of, but the ones that are focused on marketing, more you probably could. Does that, does that sound like it could ring true at all? Well, I think um, bands that you can name all the members of are bands that 
when you listen when you listen to him, you can hear all the instruments distinctly. That's a good way to look at it. Um, because I know, like, when for, let's just say Paradise City, for example. Mm-hmm. You know, like. You know, the, of, of course, the drummer, you know that. Um, you always hear the drums singing. You always hear that guitar playing. You can hear two, you can hear two distinct guitar players going at once. Right, right. And um, the bass is turned up. Right. Uh, and not a lot of bands turn the bass up or give the right. bass, like, much... You know, give the bass much, uh, what do you call it? Um, presence. Presence, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, yeah, some presence. But, um, that, for, for instance, does. And I, I think a lot of those bands where, um, you can name all the members are, are bands where you can hear, all of the instruments distinctly. There's something to that. Mm-hmm. And because they all have a personality. But I think, like, also the rub of having a band like that is every one of them has an ego, like a super huge ego that eventually, yeah. along with, you know, lots of drugs and alcohol and. <laughs> Stuff like that ruins the band. Yeah. Um. I mean, in, in the case, you know, like with Led Zeppelin, John Bonham ruined the band. Yeah. Um, they could have stuck together, but you know, you could say Robert right. Plant also ruined things by not continuing to go not, forward. But that's another right. band where you can distinctly hear. John Bonham, um, and like uh, Jimmy Page played. Sometimes he'd play like three or four guitar tracks on one song. Right, right. Um, but you could definitely hear the bass come through on that. Uh, Nirvana was ruined. Um, and I was like. He was in a lot of pain, though. I didn't know that until a lot later on. Yeah. Um, he had some, like, back problems, I think. And uh, he, he was depressed because of all the uh, painkillers he had to take. Talking about Kurt? Yeah. Kurt Cobain? Wow, okay. Um, so Guns N' Roses, that's a band that um, did not stick around. And... Led Zeppelin, they, you know, they they can't they didn't go after, and um, Molly Crew. The whole reason I was thinking about this subject, they've had like um, a spotty career as far as like consistent consistent album releases, right? And also like. They changed the lead singer a few times, or at right. least once. So I think like when you get all these egos together, it makes great music, but it also doesn't last. Right, right. Some volatile about it. Yeah. So I guess like um, I guess my point is is if you find a band like that where where they're so good you can name all the members of the band, get into them and go see them as much as possible because they're not gonna stay around long. Yeah. Buy the t-shirts. <laughs> save them. Don't wear them. Just save them. Yeah. I might, get, right, a, I well. might get a when we go see Kiss. I might get a shirt just to frame it. Yeah. Yeah. But go ahead and save up seventy five dollars. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But probably close to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, man. 
that's only a month away now, my friends. I know. I got an email about it. So, um, all right. April twelfth. Cool. Well, that's a short topic. I like it. Yeah. Do you have any other? Uh, uh, you, your 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 thing was it was marketing though. You think? Was- I mean, that's where you know that's kind of the business I'm in. So that's that's where I come from. Yeah, but your your perspective is is good as well. So I like it. All right, all right. All right. So let's play a tune. I don't know what to play. Let's play. I could probably name the members of the Scorpions. So that makes me want to play Scorpion Crunch off Battery Powers EP. Mm, okay. Uh, um, can I name the members of the Scorpions? There was one point where I could for sure. In high school, but let's see. The last drummer for um, Motorhead was at, at one time in in the Scorpions. Really? I okay. think it was in a later lineup. Claus, Klaus, Claus, Klaus. I can't remember their names now. I think they're still they're still kicking out there. Yeah. So they're probably going to do a retirement tour. No, so this I don't is think the they're going to do that anytime soon. I mean, from no. what I've I've been reading. They're gonna. I think they're going on tour with a new album soon. I think. Really? Okay. Um. So this is when I would name songs that I was writing at that point of kind of about what they were influenced by. So this one ended up being called Scorpion Crunch. I don't think we played this. So it was kind of a deep cut track number four. As you work on page one. Sixteen. Nine, Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stay. I know the past, we've gone astray 
All right, so probably too many na-nas in that. <laughs> that was too fresh. <laughs> but hey, they were catchy five years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a, um, that's a, that's a Beatles type of thing to do. <laughs> A what? A Beatles type of thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Well, I go, I go to Journey. Na 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 na. You know. All right. Yeah. Journey has like, they, I think they took the Beatles and did Nas times three hundred. But <laughs> so anyhow. <laughs> All right. Any last uh, media updates before we do our shortest podcast ever to balance out our longest long ones? What's our longest one? Uh, the one I'm working on looks like it's going to be, well, 30 to 40, up to 40 minutes. Yeah, that's nothing. I, that's nothing to you, but to us short attention span, folks. Minimum podcast I listen to is like an hour. Woo! <laughs> and what, what do you do while you listen to that? An hour, if I might ask. An hour, oh, I do, um... Like this type of thing, I do housework. Um, what you you were breaking up? Say that again. I do I do this. I do um I work on uh freelancing. Uh, and this you know drawing. Um, yeah. I do housework. Yeah. Uh, it's just about anything really. Um, yeah, I just like to right. you know. Whatever I'm doing, I'll just either, I'll put, if, unless it's driving, I can't listen to podcasts and drive, because right. uh, it, it, it could put me to sleep. Right. But um, if I'm doing something, you know, where I'm active, it, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't put me to sleep, um, like doing something like this, but driving is not as active as this. My wife loves listening to podcasts while she drives and sometimes we listen to the same podcasts um so that's good you know if we if we like, if we like the same podcast and uh we're, we're on a long trip like uh, over the summer yeah. or whatever it's, it's a good thing <clears throat> yeah 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 i can imagine so all right cool Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's. Well, that, you picked a short one today. That's that's cool, though. We didn't have. Yeah, we didn't have much to say. It doesn't take that non- long to name names, so. No. So you guys go out there and uh, see if you can fig- figure out the see if you can name the names of your favorite bands. Mm-hmm. I'll have to ask my niece and nephew if they can name name the members of their favorite musical acts of current day that I have no idea. It's probably going to be super easy for them. You think? Yeah, because they probably like rap. Right. And Or R&B, and there's only one rapper per rap. Well, sometimes there's like three, but no more than three. Yeah. Um, so, but I would be curious to know you know what? 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 Yeah. What? What? what that are. All right, man. We'll uh, wrap that page up. There goes some nice yellow. Why is that? Yellow. Doing? What is? What is that? And uh, looking good. And I don't know why it's coming through the the white. Mm. I have to figure that out. All right. I'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week then. All right, man. Okay. Bye. Bye.